Hi, my name is Pat McHugh and I'm at the Buck Knife Factory at Post Falls, Idaho and I'd like to tell you a story about this knife or one just like it. I was a foot soldier in Vietnam in 1968 <clears throat> and when they issued our weapons over there they issued us a bayonet if we wanted one, but these bayonets couldn't poke their way out of a paper bag. And almost immediately I wrote home and said, I need a serious knife. Well, my grandfather, who was a shopkeeper in Grangeville, Idaho, marched across the street to his friend who owned Peff Sporting Goods. And he said, I need the best knife I can get. Peff took him over to the buck knife display and got me a knife just like this one and sent it to me. <clears throat> now this knife was my personal best friend. I opened sea rations with it, I carved tent stakes with it, I, it was a personal weapon as well, but I loved this knife. And on the 13th of May in 1969, I was airlifted to the big naval hospital in Cameron Bay. And although Cameron Bay, Vietnam, was one of the safest places you could possibly be, I was still a little paranoid being a soldier just coming in out of the field. And they took my possessions, put them in storage, but I insisted that I keep my knife with me. Now, I had my knife in a sheath under my pillow, and I was in the hospital for a couple of weeks, and one night my fever spiked, and they took me into intensive care and I was out of it and didn't realize I should bring my knife. And several days later when I got back on the ward, the knife was gone and it broke my heart then, still does. And today uh, I was given this nice knife. It's got my grandfather's name, Miles Becker, and my name, Patrick McHugh. And this is in honor of the knife I lost. And I, Peff said Buck was the best knife you could buy. That was 50 years ago, and I personally believe that still holds true. I even have, uh, <clears throat> just to show you that I'm not kidding, I even have a, a Buck knife in my pocket that I brought from home. I had no idea I was being given this today, but uh, I'm deeply, it, the, the gratitude runs very deep, and thanks to C.J. Buck, and everybody that was involved in this and uh, I've finally been returned with my knife.